it's all very well to say science is about having a hypothesis and testing it, but sometimes you just have to get into the lab and do something no one has ever done before and then really try to understand what the results mean. You can learn new things, things that no one on this planet has ever thought of before. The light comes to us from the sun as a whole spectrum of colors, literally all the colors of the rainbow. Most of it's lost either as heat or reflected back off into the sky. Silicon has a, a relatively fixed range of wavelengths from the sun that it can absorb. Anything below that band gap is wasted. It cannot be harvested. Energy in excess of the band gap is also wasted as heat. And we'd like to add films above and below the silicon layer and effectively use more photons, and that means more electricity from the same amount of sunlight. We take two photons of low energy light and try to join them together in a material to create a higher energy photon that is able to be harvested. It's turning red into gold. We're making progress. One of the big landmarks uh, that we reached uh, last year was to upconvert from below the band gap of silicon for the first time using organic molecules. A lot of these molecules are well known and have been known for decades, and some of them have been produced brand new in the center, and the first time they've been synthesized anywhere in the world. The ultimate goal is to have a material that literally you shine infrared light on it and it will give you visible light back. I do like going to the lab, turning knobs and misaligning people's experiments. But what I really enjoy is having ideas and seeing those ideas develop into research results. The research side of my job, I, I would do that all day, every day, probably even if you didn't pay me. I really love analyzing data. That's a bit of a fetish of mine. So. <laughs>